Hmm, okay. Let's have number 11. The triangular gate AB shown is hinged at base B. The gate is 4 meters wide perpendicular to the figure. Given H, C, and theta as 45 degrees. So, baka uh, malito kayo dito ha. Triangular gate yung sinabi no? Triangular gate A, B shown but the figure here is trapezoid. Okay, yung ibig sabihin ng triangle is this gate. Naka side view lang to. Okay? So, find the horizontal force at vertex A. Ito yung vertex natin. To open the gate. So, okay. Ito yung inahanap. Yung force horizontal at vertex A. So, ilagay natin yung given values. Sinubstitute lang natin. Then again, ito yung triangle. Naka side view ito. Kung i-cut natin siya dito, tingnan natin siya this way. Ito yung projection natin. 6 meters pa rin. Ito yung 6 meters natin. Then, ito ang 4 meters. The gate is 4 meters wide perpendicular to the figure. So, 4 meters pa doon. So, to solve for the force here required, the horizontal force, we need to solve first the total hydrostatic force acting on the gate. Okay? And uh, take note, the hydrostatic force will be um, acting at the centro, uh, cent, uh, no, center of pressure. Tawagin natin CP. Ito yung hahanapin natin, force, horizontal, at vertex A. So, ito yung orientation ng ating uh, triangle because sinabi niya, vertex yung point A. Pwede rin kasi kung sinabi niya vertex yung B, then pag ganito yung triangle natin. Okay? So, ngayon, um, we need the, cent the location of the center of gravity. So, dito yan. Kailangan natin yan for this one. Bart H. Bart H is the distance from the water line to the center of gravity. Vertical distance. We need that one to solve for the hydrostatic force. Okay? So, um, kunin natin yung location nito from the top, from the vertex. Take note, basic formula of location of centroid of the triangle. It is two-thirds of, uh, of the height from the vertex. Uh, two-thirds of six. So, remember that formula. So, you have here four meters. Dito naman, one-third of six. Or that is basically six minus four. You have here two. So, as I have mentioned, kailangan natin yung delta H. Um, project lang natin to vertically. Itong side na yan. Itong inclined distance is the four meters. No? The angle is 45. That means, ito siya is 4 sine of 45 degrees. So, yung H is 3 plus this one. Vertical. 3 plus, plus 4 sine 45. That's 5.828. Okay, another value we need to solve is the inclined distance. From the water surface to the center of gravity. Ito lang yung relation niyan. Bard H, ito yung angle natin. Uh, yung inclined distance is the bard Y. Kailangan natin yan to solve for this eccentricity. The eccentricity is the distance between the center of gravity and the center of pressure. Okay. From this triangle, yung bard Y natin is H over sine of 45. We're just using sine function, ha? Sine 45 equal to opposite hypotenuse so substituting the value of h bar h ito yung bar y natin makukuha natin yung p by the way by taking moment at point b kasi point b is a hinge so kailangan muna natin ng mga moment arm so dadaan talaga tayo kay bar e and of course for the force itself hydrostatic force formula for uh, uniform liquid lahat Gamma bar H times the projected area. Where gamma is of course gamma water. Bar H is ito. The projected area. Ito yung um, projected area natin. Triangle. One half of the base is 4 
the altitude is 6. Ito yung total hydrostatic force. While calculating the eccentricity, the formula is inertia over area bar y. Force inertia ng triangle about the centroid. Take note that is BH cube over 36 triangle tayo about the centroid. Area ng triangle, like this one, bar y is ito. So, kuha natin yung eccentricity. So, with no eccentricity and force, we can now take moment at point B because it is a hinge. We know it must be zero. Okay? So, kunin natin muna yung moment arm na to. Yung P natin is horizontal. So, the moment arm about point B must be vertical. Perpendicular yan. Yung force and distance. So, if this total inclined length is 6 meters, that means the vertical side is 6 sine of 45 degrees. Okay? So, let's say, uh, gamitin ko na lang counterclockwise positive. So, you have P times 6 sine 45. Okay? So, counterclockwise about, about point B. The other force is F. Take note, perpendicular na to. Da? So, minus F. Clockwise naman siya. Then, binago ko yung side, uh, yung sign convention ko ha. Counterclockwise positive ako. And, uh, clockwise negative. You can change that one. So, yung moment arm ng FH natin, or yung F, take note, perpendicular na yan dito. The moment arm is, eto. 2 minus eccentricity. 2 minus eccentricity, then equal 0. So, known yung hydrostatic force natin, 686.072. Also, known yung eccentricity natin. Substitute. Makukuha natin P is 282.122. Ito yung required to, okay, to open the gate. I think that is 284, no? 284.122. Let me change that one now. Uh, tayo po lang yan. 284.12 Okay, let's have number 12. Ang dalawang numbers yung isolve natin dito. Okay, number 12. The sector gate shown consists of a cylindrical surface of which AB is the trace, cylindrical surface. The length of the gate perpendicular to the paper is 10 meters. Okay, sinabi niyang cylindrical kaya that one is an arc of a circle. <coughs> so given R, lagay ko lang yung values natin, theta is 60 degrees. So that determine the total horizontal force acting on the gate. Horizontal force lang yung sinabi niya. Okay, so meron din tong vertical force. The horizontal force is the hydrostatic force horizontal. The, the vertical force is, that is the weight of water above that portion. Uh, yan yung V. Yung uh, resultant ng dalawa, it is the total hydrostatic. Da? Ito siya, horizontal component of the hydrostatic force. That one is the vertical component of the hydrostatic force. Ito lang yung inahanap sa problem na to, but um, isolve natin lahat. <clears throat> okay? So, in 3D, ganito yan. 10 meters perpendicular to the paper. Yung hydrostatic force natin, horizontal component, ito yan. It is acting at the center of pressure. Again, meron din tayong center of gravity, different location sila. Parating mas mababa yung center of pressure. Ito yung bar H natin from the water surface. Vertical um, projection yan. So, ito naman siya dito sa 2D. Ito siya is the weight of this water projected above this gate. Weight of water yan. Okay? So, uh, dadaan tayo dito sa geometry, no? 
i-close natin siya into a box, rectangular box. Okay? Uh, ito gagawin natin just to solve for the weight. Yeah? And also to solve for h, we need this distance. Using this right triangle. If the angle is 60 degrees, 60 degrees dito dito. So the projection here is 6 sine of 60 degrees. Okay? Again, that is 6 sine of 60 degrees. Uh, dito naman, it is 6 cosine 60 degrees. By the way, hindi ko na mention, no? yung total hydrostatic force in a circle is always pointing to the center of the circle. Parati yung ganun yung concept. For a circle only, ha? kung different curve na yan, it's not. No? Hindi siya parati. Yung concept dyan, um, it is perpendicular to the tangent at that point. Unlike sa circle kasi, yung lahat ng tangents is perpendicular to the radius. Yeah? So, if we have here a tangent here, ito yung course natin, directed yan to the center of the circle because it is perpendicular to the tangent and synonymous for a radius. Dadaan yan sa radius at that point. Okay, anyway, hindi natin yan kailangan uh, for this problem. So, alright. Dito naman, yung location ng ating H, if it is, yung area projected natin is a rectangle, it is always one-thirds of the height. Ito yung total H, uh, yung Y natin, no? total depth of water. Tinawag ko siyang Y. So, it is always one-third. Again, it is only for a rectangular projected area. So, kung triangular area yan, then uh, dumaan tayo kay eccentricity. Well, dito pwede pa rin tayong dumaan kay eccentricity, but uh, no need na, basta rectangular yung, lang yung projected area natin. So, kung ito yung Y dito, ito naman siya sa 3D. This is the value of Y. And ito yung Y over 3, ito siya, <coughs> Y over 3. And the distance between CG and CP is the eccentricity. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, so muna natin yung BART H. So, BART H is the distance of the center of gravity from the water surface. Vertical distance. So, we are projecting here a rectangle vertical. So, yung BART H is kalahati ng, uh, yung, ng Y. Again, we are just considering that one. Wag mong imine yung curve. No? Unlike sa plane surface, diretso tayo, makukuha natin yung hydrostatic force. Kung curve yan, we need to separate that one. No? Horizontal and vertical. Kanina, dineretso natin. Hindi na kailangan dumaan sa horizontal and vertical. Basta flat surface. Okay, anyway. So, H is Y over 2. Where Y is 6 sine 60 degrees. Y is 6 sine 60 degrees over 2. You have here 2.598 meters. Okay. So, we can now solve that one directly. The hydrostatic force, horizontal, gamma barred H area. A gamma is 9.81 for water. Barred H is ito. Yung area natin is this projected area. So, that is um, Y. The Y is, again, 6 sine of 60 times 10. So, ito yung horizontal projection natin. 1324.31. Approximately 1320 kN. Okay, so solve na tayo. But again, isasolve na lang natin yung vertical component. The vertical component naman, na-mention ko yan, weight yan ng water projected above. So, yung weight is Gamma times volume. A gamma, walang problema. Water yan. Yung volume nito is of course volume of this water. Ito yung kailangan natin na volume. And it is considered as a preserve. Constant cross-sectional area multiplied by 10 meters. Ganun yung ating volume. So ito lang yung medyo challenging. Yung area ng part niyan. And that is not a sector of a circle. Ito yung sector ng circle. O hindi rin yan span drill. Na baka isipin yung span drill. Hindi rin, na? So gagawin natin by projection. The area of this water here, the projected area, ito yung gagawin ko. 
area ng rectangle. E, minus area ng triangle. Then minus area ng sector. So, ito yung matitira. Area ng water. Okay? So, area ng rectangle, it is, um, you have here 6 by 6 sine of 60. 6 by 6 sine of 60. Area ng triangle, ito madaling makuha yan. At is 1 half of the base, 6 cos sine 60. The altitude is 6 sine of 60. While area of sector, the formula is 1 half. R squared times intercepted angle in radius. So, minus 1 half. The radius is 6. 6 squared. The theta here is 60 degrees. But in radians tayo. Times pi over 180. Ito yung projected area nito. Okay? Area ng water line. I mean ng water. So, the volume of the water here. That one is equal to the area, this area, times the depth or the length, 10 meters. With area known, okay, area, uh, this one times 10, that's 45.33 cubic meters. Alright, so the total vertical force, uh, that again, it is the weight of that water, the gamma of water times the volume, formula of a weight. So, gamma is 9.81. Volume of water is ito. Makuha natin yung total vertical force. And if you pinapahanap is the hydrostatic force on that curved surface, it is by Pythagorean theorem. Resultant ng dalawa. So, square root of h squared plus v squared. Substitute natin yung h, yung v. Kuha natin yung total hydrostatic force. Again, but for, for this problem, only yung horizontal. It's very specific yung tanong. Horizontal only. 